And all the way halfway across the country and moved to California. Because California is better. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Definitely. Woo! That's definitely something I enjoy. It's equally as hot, though. Um, and then I moved to uh, Fate in Nanoma and Tabitha and Familiar Zero. And now I'm trying to make people hire me an awful lot. <laughs> uh, my name is Jonathan Klein, for those of you who don't know who I am. Uh, I co own and work for a company that is called New Generation Pictures. We're based in Los Angeles. Uh, we work as a producers, uh, we, we produce the uh, translations, localizations, dubs, and subtitles for uh, anime and video games. More video games these days than anime, uh, but uh, we worked on a bunch of titles over the last 10 years. Um, some of them you might have heard of, like Helsing and Helsing Ultimate, and uh, R.O.D. the TV, and uh, Ergo Proxy, Technolize, uh, Basic Mercenonico, uh, Ikitosen, uh, gosh, the list is endless. And video games, we've done Street Fighter IV, uh, the Valkyrie Profile series, yes. and several, several of the Final Fantasy titles, including Final Fantasy IV. Uh, that's the Cr uh, Crystal Bears that's coming out, uh, Chocobo's Dungeon, um, something else, I can't remember. A bunch of, oh, uh, Time Crisis 4, anything with the number 4 in it. I'm very good. <laughs> Star Ocean 4, uh, yeah, that's that's the joke. If, you got, if your video game has a number 4 in it, we're probably going to be working on it. So. Street Fighter. Street Fighter 4, yeah. yes. Uh, and uh, we've done, you know, we've been producing dubs. Subs and uh, localizations in LA for quite a long time. Before we were doing anime and video games, we were doing movies, TV shows, industrial videos for, for Japanese and American clients. So, um, have a lot of experience in that thing. And to my left, I have Claude Rains. <laughs> and uh, he, well, hopefully, will be joined by some representatives of the Canadian uh, contingent. Uh, soon enough, and, and maybe more Texas contingent. Um, but uh, let's talk about maybe the process. I think is basically what this panel is going to be about is basically the differences between the you know, the way things are done, dubbing wise, uh, in one place and another. Now, you've worked in both ADB and you worked in LA, and I know for a fact that ADB does dub things a little differently than we do things in LA. So why don't you maybe talk a little bit about how things are different in terms of the, the booth, you know, recording the booth there as it is recording the booth, say, in LA. Well, um, I think the biggest difference with ADB is they don't use the beep system. So I'm you, just using the OK, we should explain what the beep okay. system is first. <laughs> so when you go in, it's going to go beep, 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 and then you start. Speaking. Oh, well, okay, we got, wait, hold on. We're, we're, oh, we yeah. have a, a, we have a Kavik here. <laughs> representing. How's it going, eh? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Can you start over? I missed the first letter. You said A. You said A. I said A, I know. So they said B. Oh, you're doing the alphabet thing for me. Wow, that's great of you. I'm, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, that was called in your honor. We're going to sing the Canadian national anthem. Cool. Play Canada. So, why don't you? Uh, we were just explaining something, but go ahead, please introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm sorry that I'm, I was late. The autographs, 45 minutes, is obviously not enough. Um, but I didn't want to leave everybody stranded, so um, thanks for being so understanding and not throwing things at me. We um, love you still. Oh, my yeah. Thanks for being here, dog. I love you more. <laughs> no, we do. Um, so yeah, my name is Brad Swale, um, voice actor from Vancouver, Canada. And it's great to be here at Lobo Golf. Thanks for having me. Now, where were we? Okay, well, we're... we're Before I so rudely interrupted. We're explaining what the... the the production process, the differences in like being in the booth between all the different lands that we're in, to see if there is any difference. And Jim is going to explain beeps. 
beeps. Okay. Awesome. She, she's, worked, she's worked both for ADB in Texas and uh, several studios beeps and no in, beeps. In, uh, in LA, so, so she can talk about it from her perspective. Cool beans. Okay, so beeps, they help you, I think, a lot um, knowing when you're going to start because in Texas, I'm sitting there and there's no beeps, so you just go. They're just like, you ready? Go! And you go. And that's a lot of fun, but it was a lot easier once I got to California and they're like, oh yeah, you have a guide, here's some beeps. Oh, guide, I have some beeps, okay, I'm gonna go. And to me, aside from scripting, I guess sort of the scripting is different, but that's gonna happen from company to company. That's the biggest difference to me. I don't really know any. Do they have like beeps in Canada? Um, what are these beeps? Uh, I know they have moose calls, they have moose calls in Southern California. Go! Go with the third moose. The national animal is actually, I think, a beaver, so I don't know where you guys get moose from all the time. It's okay. We, we probably have those too, not where I live. But, you know, it's not like we have uh, well, I think moose the walking down the I think the ones chip right away from Sarah Palin come down to you. <laughs> we want safe refuse. Refuge in, in our country, right? That's scary. Um, yes, we do have beeps in Canada, and uh, yeah, she said basically it's you know you're alone in a booth, which can be very disconcerting sometimes. That's where I can see them. That's where I can see them. Um, yeah, you were in the cams. This is what we like to call it in the industry. They're actually headphones. The cams, and yeah, the imaginary fourth beep. You start talking. And then you just try and stop on time when he stops talking. It doesn't always work. Yeah. I do know something from my experiences talking with ADB and also, but you know, yeah, actually now, you know, Funimation is basically doing most of the dub production down there. But I know back in the day with ADV, they also did something that a lot of other studios, at least in California, didn't do is they would have two actors sort of facing each other in separate booths, sort of playing off each other, actually sort of having the conversation. Record, recording the dial, uh, it was. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a, it's an interesting thing because you actually you're sort of like doing it like prelay, which is like the way TV animation is done, where you have all the actors in the room and you're recording it simultaneously, playing off each other for the most part. And for for those types of shows, uh, shows like shows that I work on, like X Men Evolution and things, like American cartoons, like you say, you have all the actors in the booth and they draw out the animation afterwards. So you're not having to match nothing. Yeah. You just go record all the dialogue, and then the animators have the hard time of, of making the little cartoon mouth flaps match what you said, and then animators the opposite. But um, it's, I would say, you know, there's a lot of similarities between, I'm sure, with all the different places that do this stuff. I mean, A, we all do it in booths. Though no, sometimes we'll have our session on the beach. Yes. <laughs> we made a lot of noise, background noise, so it has to be a beach-related show, which doesn't happen all that often. Not often enough for my life. I assume, though, you, you do mostly 